Have you been a victim of identity theft at all? Each year, Foundation Communities helps thousands of Central Texans file their taxes. One of those people who has relied on them is Belinda Valdez. It was mostly because I wasn't sure what I was supposed to claim. I, I didn't know um, how to answer the tax questions when I was doing it by myself online. It can be really complicated and overwhelming. Programs director Corey Hadamer says some of the people looking for help have already fallen victim to scammers. So we have folks who come in and say, you know, I filed a tax return with this person and I never got it and I don't know where my refund is and I don't want to happen and I can't find them now. Dishonest tax preparers are just one scheme to look for. IRS imposters are also trying to take advantage of taxpayers. The biggest thing we're seeing is people are getting phone calls, emails, and text messages, and that's probably the easiest sign for you that you're getting, you're getting contacted by a scammer. Uh, the IRS will never contact you in those ways. Nathan Fort at Vital Retirement Planners shares his top tips for avoiding tax scams and identity theft during tax season. If filing electronically, don't use a public Wi-Fi network to do it. Make sure your computer's antivirus software is up to date. Use a unique password on tax prep software that you don't use for anything else. And the sooner you file, the better. The IRS is only going to allow one tax return for each Social Security number. So if you file early uh, and, you, and you don't extend and delay your filing, uh, you're kind of beating the scammers to the punch. While big refunds can be exciting, there are two reasons it's smart to adjust your withholding so what the government owes you isn't huge. If you have a very large refund, uh, there's, there's two problems. One, you're going to be more of a target for scammers because uh, they, they will try to situate themselves to collect that refund. Um, the other is you're, go you're basically giving the federal government a, an interest-free loan. For people needing tax filing help, Foundation Communities has more than 500 certified IRS tax preparers at 10 locations across Central Texas, many volunteering their time to help individuals who qualify for assistance. Be careful who you give your information to, right? Like in order to file a tax return, you have to enter all of your personally identifiable information, your social security numbers, the social security numbers are items for your family members, your tax information, like there's so much information. It's important that the person preparing your taxes is someone you can trust with that information and trust to represent you to the IRS. And remember, the IRS will never call or text you. They also won't request payment in the form of wire transfers or gift cards. If you think you have been scammed, report that to the IRS and file fraud alerts with the three major credit bureaus that can stop an identity thief from opening new accounts in your name. Melanie Torrey, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.